Once again, body language played a major role in the world of top politics. Recep Tayyip Erdogan, the Turkish president, used the body language to make a strong and unmistakable statement towards the EU and towards women. The situation was quite usual. That was a press conference. Two chairs were prepared, but hang on, it was three people involved. It was Erdogan, Charles Michel and Ursula von der Leyen. No chair for her. That was a strong statement of Erdogan and Ursula von der Leyen made a big mistake. Now, Ursula von der Leyen had to eat the frog and take a seat a little bit distanced, a little bit away from the two men. She sat down on the bench. The bench was, by the way, a little bit lower. But the most important thing was the distance. And from the distance, we always can decipher the relationship between human beings. Why is that? You only let an animal or a person come close if you're absolutely sure this person is not dangerous or this person is not dislikable. And that is why that is not only a strong signal from Erdogan to Ursula von der Leyen, but more importantly, it put Ursula von der Leyen in a very submissive position in front of the whole world, because this signal meant Ursula von der Leyen is not in the center of power. This signal is even stronger if we take into account that maybe Ursula von der Leyen's job, president of the EU Commission, is maybe more important than Charles Michel's job, president of the EU Council. But anyway, this was a strong signal and Erdogan reached his goal because media around the world keep talking about it. Now, before I talk about the mistake, the big mistake Ursula von der Leyen did, here's a tip for you. In any business meeting, in any private event like weddings, like birthday parties or anniversary, always take into account that the position between you as the boss or between you and the other people always states how your relationship is. So the closer you are allowed to sit to the boss during a business meeting, the clearer the signal is. And also in private meeting, the closer you are to the bride, the stronger the signal, the stronger the relationship is. But there's one more thing and that is more important, like with Ursula von der Leyen, this signal is not only between you and the person sitting close or far away, it is a signal for the whole group. But because what, a whole, what the group constantly does, it constantly checks who is closer to the power, who is closer to the important people. So even if you have a close, close friend and you think, well, this is such a close friend, my friend will absolutely be able to cope with sitting a little bit farther away because there is not, not, uh, not much space left on that table. Well, this person might cope with it, but always take into account the other people around will talk. And that brings this person in a very submissive position. And maybe they will think, oh, ah, maybe they are not as good friends as we thought. And that brings that person in a very defensive position. Position. So always take that into account. What can you do? Number one, most importantly, always think about the form of the table. That is important. Now, if you want to have precise tips and, and special tips about the, the impact the form of a table made, please leave it in the comments and I will make a video about that. Number two, if you can sit everyone close to you, what you can do is change your position. For instance, after the official part of a business meeting, after the official part of a wedding, please go to the tables or during a break, go to the people who normally sit a little bit farther away. 
that doesn't only give these people the feeling of close relationship, but it also supports their position within the group. So change your position, that would be important. Now, coming back to the big mistake Ursula von der Leyen did. Ursula von der Leyen is a really professional in the world of politics. She did hundreds of meetings like that. And by the way, she is almost famous for engaging so many consultants. Would you answer me please why you didn't get the idea to ask beforehand how the situation will be? You could have easily avoided that embarrassing situation, not only for you, Ms. von der Leyen, but also for the whole EU.